What's up? It's me, Megan, and welcome to our next segment in the Learn to Monetize More video series. In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to set frequency caps for creatives in DFP. A major difficulty advertisers face is determining the amount of ads to serve viewers and over what period of time. When ads don't show enough, a prospect may not react. Show an ad too many times, and an advertiser may anger the prospect for bombarding him with the same ad. Fortunately, DFP allows us to set frequency caps to the line items so advertisers can control ad display intervals. Through the frequency capping mechanism, publishers can set a limit on the number of times that a user will see a particular line item on a web page. Are you ready? Let's get started. Frequency capping works thanks to the use of double-click, first-party, and third-party cookies. DFP places a cookie on your site, then identifies this cookie to figure out how visitors to your site interact with the creatives and ad placements. Of course, you control the maximum number of views or impressions per user and when that frequency cap resets for that DFP line item. We begin our lesson on how to set frequency caps on creatives from within the Delivery tab. Please navigate there now and click that order that contains the line item you'd like to edit. After you've identified the line item, click the Settings tab. Under Settings, locate the Adjust Delivery option next to Frequency and select Set a Per User Frequency Cap. At this point, it's time to determine the maximum number of impressions an individual web user will see the ad displayed and how often this impression cap will be reached before resetting to zero. Not sure where to start? The recipe may not be the same for every creative and every advertiser. The default reset is for 24 hours. However, you can add any reset you wish by adjusting manually on your end. For example, you may choose the frequency cap so that the user sees the ad 10 times, 10 impressions, with a reset every two weeks. In DFP, you can add up to 10 frequency caps per line item. After setting the frequency cap, click Save. As you can see, the process of setting the frequency cap is quite simple. However, finding your best practice may take a bit more trial and error. Fortunately, you can combine frequency caps, as I mentioned, up to 10 total per line item, to ensure that web users don't see the same creative too often. For example, let's say your web visitor is on your page every day for about one hour each day. You likely won't want the visitor to view the same ad 10 times within that hour, right? No, your advertiser would likely not appreciate this frequency cap either. The impact of the ad will certainly dissipate with each subsequent viewing, resulting in a very low CTR. What you can do, however, is set a combined frequency cap of one impression per hour with a second frequency cap of three impressions per day. Let's run through a quick example in DFP so you have a better idea of how to adjust the two levels of frequency capping. For starters, begin on the Delivery tab and locate the order containing the line item you'd like to add the tab frequency caps to. After you've located the order, click on it and then navigate to the Settings tab. You should now be within Settings. Scroll the page until you find the Adjusted Delivery option. It's here under Adjusted Delivery that we may set per user frequency caps for our chosen line item. Under Adjusted Delivery and next to the Frequency Placeholder, we can now add our frequency caps. In this example, we will adjust the frequency cap to include Frequency cap for one impression per hour, Frequency cap for three impressions per day. In doing so, we have ensured that a visitor to the page will not see the creative more than once per hour and no more than three times per day. Finally, after setting our frequency caps, we can now click Save. DFP will always consider and enforce both frequency cap requests. As stated, by following this example, a web visitor will not see the same ad more than once within an hour. Even if the web visitor refreshes the same page or returns to the same page more than once per hour and throughout the day, they will see the ad a maximum of three times within that same day. To fine-tune your recipe for frequency caps further, you can implement labels and apply them to creatives based on rules specified by you. Let's say on your homepage you don't want to serve more than one pop-up per day per user. You can easily set this frequency type through the use of labels and then associate rules to each label, such as how many impressions will be served to a particular user. 
We will go into greater detail on how to set up labels in another Learn to Monetize More video. Discover how your frequency cap efforts are panning out with the Reach and Frequency report in DFP. What you'll want to look for is how quickly the CTR drops off versus the impression volume. Continue tweaking and comparing your results with previous efforts, and you will soon find the perfect recipe for frequency capping. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.